Occasionally, rules can be a good thing. All right, today I want to talk a little bit about Facebook groups and having rules inside of your Facebook group. So there's a lot of hesitation um, for a lot of us about having any sort of sort of rules or guidelines to our groups because we're natural rebels and we don't want to. But here's the thing, rules and guidelines can be really empowering for your community. Here's what I mean. If you actually set out some parameters for the kinds of things they can and cannot say inside of your group, you really give them some guidelines amongst what they can post. Whereas so many groups have so many rules now that when you don't set some guidelines, you don't set some parameters, people don't know what to say, so they tend not to say anything. And that's not what we want in our group. We're building it to build an engaged community where we connect and have conversations and we get to be buddies. That's hard to do if no one's talking. So what I encourage you to do is outline some of the things that is, are cool inside of your group. You don't have to call them, you don't have to call them rules. You can call them whatever you want, but you do need to have them because they make the difference. So let me give you some examples of some good things to, to share. How's that sound? One, do you allow promo, yay or nay? If you do allow promo, let people know the parameters of that. Is it on a post on Fridays? Is it uh, any time? Uh, is it only after some engagement with the group? That's what we do inside of VIP. You're free to promote inside of VIP. However, if you're not an engaged part of the community, I will delete your promo. Meaning, if I search your name and the only thing that comes up is that promo or that promo and a bunch of other promos, they're gonna get deleted. And that's at my discretion, and I say that inside of the community. In fact, here is a look at what my rules say. It really can be that simple. It doesn't have to be super long, it doesn't have to be super intense, but be really clear. The other way rules can be really helpful in the description is when you have a community that's a bonus to one of your paid programs. For example, hit the mic backstage. That's a part, that's a privilege as part of backstage membership. If you don't have a backstage membership, you're not going to be accepted into the group. It's the perks of membership. Uh, and so it says that in the description. Uh, same thing with my social pro groups and my rockstar guide groups. Uh, and you see a lot of other people who have Facebook groups as a component for their uh, programs. It says for paid members only. And as a group owner or someone on your team, they need to verify that and say, okay, yes, so-and-so is indeed on the inside and they let them in. Uh, and so, again, outlining that stuff in the description really makes it clear who the group is for. And for the people who are on the inside, the people who do get into the inside, they know that this is a community that understands what they're talking about because they're talking about stuff pertaining to that program. Uh, and also, it's a good way for them to connect with like-minded people because obviously they had something in common if they're all attracted to your brand. So, it really enables them to feel comfortable and know what to share. So again, Check your guidelines, add some rules. They don't have to be super strict. They don't have to be just like anybody else's rules. They can be unique to your brand and your community, but they do need to be there, all right? If you have any questions, be sure to come join us inside of my VIP group uh, and we can talk more about it there. Go to thestacyharris.com slash VIP to join the free VIP community. And if you really wanna up-level what you're doing with Facebook and your groups, be sure to join us backstage at hitthemicbackstage.com. Otherwise, like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel on YouTube, and I will see you next Sunday. Bye.